Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode and today we're going to take a look at Mopar. Uh, so we got some really cool Dodge Plymouth, uh, pretty awesome stuff here to look at. A lot of these are older green lights, um, some of them are, are not, but most of these are going to be uh, fairly older green light cars and I'm excited to get these open and take a close look at them. We're going to start with this one right here. This is the 1971 Dodge Hemi Charger. Uh, this is in the auction block series. Uh, this was just a Barrett Jackson uh, series. This one, uh, copyright date 2008. I've pre-cut open all these so opening the package should go swimmingly for uh, this video. Let's go ahead and just take this out to start. Pretty cool car. So this car apparently sold for $160,000. That's crazy at auction. These uh, these come with these little cards here. 71 Dodge Charger uh, tells you a little bit about the car. If you want to pause that and read that, go for it. Uh, it sold in 2007. So that's pretty cool that they uh, provide that information. Uh, look at this thing. Pretty awesome. This is definitely not my favorite uh, Dodge Charger uh, generation body style, what what have you. Uh, this thing should have an opening hood. We're gonna do our best we can to open the hoods on this. Oh, there we go. So some detailed Hemi Orange uh, motor in there. I love these wheels and tires. They look really cool. These BF Goodrich tires and these uh, awesome looking rims so definitely digging this one it's in really good shape uh, it's number 9157 i'm guessing they probably made 10,000 of these is my guess it's got a green post that means you know it's a little bit older the tooling number is gl020 so it is the 20th uh, tooling from Greenlight, and is a very nice looking car i've got one more example of it here this is right here 1971 dodge charger rt in the muscle car garage stock and custom series uh this was series three this is a copyright date of 2007. go ahead and open this one up these ones also came with a little card in here looks like that okay and then um, here is the car itself so pretty cool uh, this one's got a slightly different trim uh, so this one is the uh, ah, oops. So the other one was the Dodge Hemi Charger this is the 71 Dodge Charger RT this has the spoiler on the back um, it's got a different hood than the other one And there you go. It escapes me what this thing is called. I always forget what that thing's called. I know it's like some sort of air intake or whatever, but uh, I used to know what it was called. Oops. All right. Anyway, they have the same wheels, same wheels and tires. They are the same tooling. Uh, this one adds this little thing in the front. Oh, well, actually, no, they both have it. But the front's a little bit tooled a little bit differently. Got the hidden headlights on this one pretty awesome I love that green light does that kind of stuff they use tools and then they kind of uh, add different trim levels and stuff like that so this is uh, 838 on here you'll see the tooling number is the same GL 020 and that is a really nice one too a sublime green so that's pretty cool to get that one and uh, to get you know two different examples here of the tooling with with two different uh, looks to it so that's pretty awesome all right so moving on from that we're gonna go to let's do this one real quick this will be the only kind of like truck here that we've got this is the 77 Dodge Ram Charger uh, this is a recent release blue collar series 6 uh, this will be the, probably the newest car there's two ones that are pretty new in here this is one of them uh, so here's the Dodge Ram Charger. This is a pretty neat casting. This one comes with a snow plow on the front, which I live in Wisconsin. It's going to snow probably today, actually, um, which I'm really not looking forward to. But this thing hits home for me because we're going to be seeing a lot of snow plows coming up here. 
So it's cool. It's got the snow plow on it. It does have the removable um, roof. So this is plastic here, which all these castings, some of them don't even come with it, but most do. Opening hood feature with um, motor in there. Uh, overall, this is a pretty nice looking version of this truck. It's also got the trailer hitch. It's got the uh, legit like spare tire on the back, which is pretty awesome. Um, just a really cool casting. This is number 5226. So yeah, they number all their stuff, which is kind of neat. The tooling number is GL042. So it's an older tooling from Greenlight. It's not new by any means. I think they're up to like, I don't know, I want to say like 200 by now. Tooling numbers. Maybe I'm way off. Is it like 250 by now? Or maybe it's like one, I don't remember. I keep this all on a spreadsheet though, the different tooling numbers from Greenlight and kind of keep track of which ones I still need and all that stuff. And It's kind of a neat way to collect uh, a car brand. All right, next is this one here. This is the custom 2006 Dodge Challenger concept from Muscle Car Garage Stock and Custom Series 4. Uh, the copyright date is 2007 on this one. Let's go ahead and open, Ooh. open this up. Ooh, this one's tough to get out. This one comes with a card. This is obviously a custom version, I think, due to the paint job. So they had like real stock looking ones, and then they had custom looking ones in the series, hence the uh, series name Stock and Custom. So there will be, there would be another version of this car that came out in the series that would have a different looking uh, uh, graphic. And I did cut myself right there, bam. Ouch, that packaging's sharp. So, pretty cool looking and interesting design. I didn't even notice that that top was like that, looking at it in the package. I just really like the color blue. I like these wheels on it. I think they look pretty awesome. Uh, this is number 832. Got a green post there. Tooling number is 10, I believe. 18, sorry. And let's see if we can get that hood open. Nice details in there. So it's Hemi right on the motor there. This is a really nice model. Some of these older green lights are just super nice. A lot of the real older ones, uh, it, it seems to not have very much uh, lens detail for headlights and taillights, but it doesn't really matter if you can make it look really, really good. And then this one looks, I don't know, really good to me. I like this, I like this casting quite a bit. So I've got a few of them too. And they all look pretty awesome. All right, we're going to follow that up with the 1970 Dodge Charger. This is in Muscle Car Garage Hobby Collection. So this must have been just a hobby dealer. It's a copyright date of 2008. Um, looks pretty cool. These ones come with a little tool shop accessory, which is neat. Hang on to that just in case I decide to do a diorama at some point. We'll pull the car out get the tool out so you get a little toolbox there that's pretty cool little toolbox it's kind of a neat little ad and then uh, you got this guy right here here's the model just a nice clean looking version of this car I love the way it looks with the, uh, the, the deep gray with the uh, red stripe on the rear that looks awesome really cool so number 934 let's see if we can find the tooling number the tooling number is right over here uh, i think that says 30 yeah so again it's another green post that's the other thing about the older green line if you're not familiar they have they painted one of the posts were always green uh they don't do that anymore but they used to and for some reason, I think that's kind of neat. So here we go. Opening hood. Decent detail in there. Love the wheels on it, too. They kind of look like the old school red line uh, wheels, hot wheels. I don't know. That's a really nice looking model, I think. 
I think that's pretty awesome. All right, next up, we got this is a newer release. This is uh, a hobby exclusive 69 inch Dodge Charger Daytona. Uh, this is in the United States Postal Service series, which I think were cars that were featured on stamps, I guess. Uh, 2013 muscle car stamps, I guess, were, were what these cars were from. So copyright date is 2019, so it just came out this year. Uh, we're going to pull it out. And take a peek. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely cool. It's a nice kind of orange color. Not a very bright orange Pretty awesome. So this casting, I had an example of this, but I didn't really have a clean one. This is number 332, and it is the same tooling number, you'll notice, as this car right here. So it is tooling number 30, and if you look close here, the bases are identical. And they are the same for both these cars. The rear end is pretty close to the same too. Except for, of course, the addition of spoiler, and but the window and stuff is different, so they'll do that. So they still consider this the same tooling number for, however, whatever reason, even though it's mostly different. Um, this one's got a little bit of a lean to it. I just noticed it's kind of leaning off here to the side. It's not terrible; it'll display well. But uh, anyway, I needed a clean example of this car, so that's why I picked it up, and I think it's pretty awesome. And what I mean by clean, a stock looking version of the car. I think the other one I have is not very stock looking. Uh, so I had to pick that up. All right, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, what do we got left? We've got four cars left. And let's do it in this order. So we got the 1969 Plymouth GTX. This is from Muscle Car Garage. Stock and Custom Series 7 came out in 2008. So again, these are the ones that come with the little cards. Lots of packaging here. Careful not to slice my finger again. There's a little card it comes with. And then here is the car. That's cool. Uh, looks good. I like this casting quite a bit. I've got a few examples of it. And actually, the rest of this video is pretty much going to be examples of this tooling. This is uh, GL029C. So sometimes they will give them a letter designation after the tooling number uh, to denote a different uh, version of the tooling, I guess. This one has got a green post, uh, number 3848. Is the production number of the casting in this series. Yeah, it's got nice color green. I love the rims on it. I like how it looks. Oh, it looks quite nice. So let's just set that one off to the side because we've got uh, more to look at that are similar, very similar. So that was the GTX. This one is the 1968 Plymouth Road Runner. It's going to be the same tooling. This is from uh, Muscle Car Garage. Uh, stock and custom collection five and copyright date 2007 set that there again comes with that little card yeah nice looking version of this car wheels look good on this one same wheels that, that we just had on these this guy And looks really good. So everything about this is pretty much the same, except for the rear end is a bit different on this version. Uh, the front end slightly different as well. Let's see if the motor's different. If I can get this one open. There we go. Yep, motor's going to be different. Motor's different. So that's cool. Um, the tooling number of this one is just GL029, so not the 29C. This is GL029. 2507 is the number printed on the base here. Uh, of course, green post. So that's pretty cool. So these are essentially the same tooling. Slightly different front end and rear end. Uh, then we got this one, which is the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, Hemi. This one is in the Muscle Car Garage Hobby Collection, so it comes with a tool shop accessory. Copyright date 2008. 
I'll go ahead and pull this one out quick. Set it there. I gotta get out the little creeper. There it is. So that comes with that little guy. Which is cool. And fits underneath the car, which it should. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna set that by my little toolbox over here. Hang out of those. And here's this one. So this one is slightly different again than these two. It's got uh, a different hood tooling. Uh, let's see here. And it's got the same motor as this one here. Uh, it's detailed a little bit differently, but it's the same. Uh, the front end is slightly different. The rear end is also going to be slightly different. Pretty cool, guys. And then, um, what's the, so 254, pretty low uh, production number. This is the 29C tooling, which is interesting, so I don't get it. Like, this is the C, this is the C version as well, and they are clearly, I don't know, different from each other, especially in the rear end department there. So I don't understand it really, and the, the hood's tooled differently too. Uh, so I, I don't really get what the letters, you know, really, I guess, mean. You know, the bases. Okay, so it's probably whatever the base tooling is, is what it looks like, because you got GL029, and then you got GL029C, and these, the bases are different. You see that rear uh, diff there, and this, you don't have it there. It's just a solid, like, bar looking thing. Um, and then I'm guessing this one, yeah. So this one has the same base as this one. So whatever they use for the tooling of the base. And I guess that makes sense because that's what the number is stamped into that particular tool, the tool for the base. So, all right, we got one more to look at. And this one's a really nice looking one too. This is uh, the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is the convertible version. And this one is in County Roads Series 1. It came out in 2008. Go ahead and open it up. No real cool accessory or anything with this one. Again, an older green light. A very nice color, purple. Looks cool. It's got the uh, same hood as this one. Same front end. Same rear end. But, of course, something's missing there. The top is missing. And we got a convertible. Looks pretty good. Looks nice and detailed in there. Let's take a look at the motor. So it's got the same motor as that one. Uh, let's check the tooling number. It is the C version of the base. Number 3677. Definitely a nice looking car. I love that little gold stripe there on the side. I didn't even notice that while it was in the package. That looks great. I didn't have the convertible version of this tooling. Now I do, which is fantastic. I don't think they actually put it out very much, to be honest. I think they've only done a, maybe this one and one more, two more. Done a lot more of the uh, hardtop version, not anything of this one. So barely anything of this one. So looks really good. All right, so that's going to be it for 10 Car Tuesday. Be looking at some really nice green light cars. Like I said, if you can catch these uh, these older green light cars and get them uh, cheap and you like muscle cars and stuff like I would definitely recommend it some of the older green light is really expensive too so just be on the lookout for it when you go to like car shows and um, you know stuff like that in the summer or wh whatever some toy shows and stuff like that a lot of people hi are hyper focused on on Hot Wheels and when they get stuff like this like for example people that buy collections and that don't really bother to look up every car because it's impossible to look up every car um, they'll usually get rid of like the green light stuff and Johnny Lightning stuff and anything that's not Hot Wheels. They, they generally won't spend a lot of time looking the up. So usually they'll price it to sell. And since it's not as popular as, you know, Hot Wheels and stuff like that, you know, even though it's priced at a cheap price, when you, you might be the only one that's really looking for it at, at that particular time and you'll end up scoring a bunch for, um, a good reasonable price so if you're patient I must say because if you're trying to go after all, all these cars and you're just trying to find them on eBay and stuff you're gonna end up paying for them um, but sometimes you can get really good deals and I, that's the way I roll I don't 
if you guys watch this channel enough, I've talked about it enough. I really um, try to get stuff at the minimum price possible. Uh, I have to. It'd be the only way for me to maintain the collection that I have that's this size. Um, if I were to spend, like, you know, a lot of money and wasn't patient, um, I would be completely broke. I'd be, like, out of a house. <laughs> so, and, yeah. So, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Let me know which car you thought was your favorite or which car you thought looked the best. Let me know what you think about this kind of older green light stuff. I know we looked at a couple of newer um, releases, this one and this one are from this year. Um, but they are older toolings, and they both look great. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think if I had to pick a favorite, and it's tough just looking at these, I really like the look of this one, mainly the color combination of it. I just think it looks uh, really, really nice. Uh, my second favorite, I don't know, might be this guy. And then uh, maybe maybe this purple convertible. Kind of cool. I don't know. None of these are bad cars, obviously. I wouldn't pick them up if they were bad. But general rule of thumb for me, if I see older green light and someone's selling them for like five bucks pop, I'm buying them. Okay? Just going to do it. And if I got like enough cash at the time um, I'll get doubles I don't care I'll, I mean I'll, I'll get doubles and hang on to them I haven't really come across many doubles that's the thing you don't come across them too often so it's not like it's super easy to just go out and find these find the stuff but you can do it at like car shows like I said stuff like that you know if you know people that buy collections and sell stuff usually this stuff gets goes for pretty cheap all right, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching another 10 Car Tuesday episode. Please check out my sponsor, Mass Car Displays. We still have a month yet to take advantage of the 20% off promo, which um, will get you 20% off of their uh, of your order at their site, which is Champion20. I have a 10% off promo that we've been running for a long time that is still activated and will still be activated after the first of the year, but the 20% off will end at the end of December. And I definitely recommend it, especially if you collect green light, because even that car fits in those cases. So yeah, check them out. Um, please check out the playlist for the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys very much and have a great day.